mean, something like that. You know, I'm Man neither of those alive. guys. That is classic. 80s tastic. Okay, welcome back to Anderson's TV. Hello. Um, <laughs> Right, Thanks today's video, yes, <laughs> today's video is brought to you in association uh, with TC Electronic. Uh, no, we are looking at the new, old, reinvented, yeah. original, classic, uh, so yeah, TC Electronic 2290p. I need to read you a little bit of the, uh, credit Go to on. Jamie Humphreys at Guitar Interactive magazine from an article that he wrote about five years ago. Five about years the, ago? Yeah, it's when TC uh, launched the original plug-in version of it. Yes, this. I remember, I remember. So, in 1985, TC Electronic released the TC2290 Dynamic Digital Delay and Effects Control Processor. Mm -hmm. This hardware multi-purpose rack unit featured stunning delay and modulation effects plus panning. The unit, which, uh, the unit included unique dynamic controls, which enabled a variety of parameters to be controlled in relationship to the signal source being processed. Uh -huh. This was also referred to as ducking, meaning the delay level or the repeats would pull, not docking, ducking, <laughs> would pull back during busier parts of a vocal melody or guitar solo uh, and becoming more apparent at the end of a phrase or held notes. Yeah. You have to remember this was new. This was not possible prior to, to then. This thing. This unique feature made this unit appealing to both producers and guitarists. With the TC2290 at home in both studio and guitar rack systems, um, the sound of the TC2290 can be heard all over U2's, uh, jo U2's Joshua Tree album. Yeah. It was David Gilmour's main delay unit during Delicate Sound of Thunder. Uh, John Petrucci was using it in uh, the 90s for his dream yeah. theatre stuff. And um, although it's not in that article, it was another, Steve Lukather was another artist who had, a, you know, a lot of his iconic sort mm -hmm. of 80s Toto type guitar and tones. And that's a chance to bring this absolutely yeah. incredible uh, guitar. So, it's wonderful. now, yeah. look, under the hood, this is called a little magnetic kind of mm -hmm. control strip. Mm -hmm. I guess... Here, th this is today's demo, right? Neither Pete or I have consciously remember ever I re doing anything. I, I had I had them, but and I remember doing them, but it's so long ago. Yeah, and so it's, it, there was quite complicated. Even then, it was complicated, yeah. wasn't it? What we can't really do in this video is talk with any authority as to like how accurately does it compare with an original twenty-two ninety. Um, it's an emulation of a twenty-two ninety with a an interface, if you like, a user interface yeah. designed to um, replicate the sort of the feel, the look and feel of a 2290, but now in a more compact pedal yeah. with more stuff, most notably now stereo in as well as stereo out. Yeah. So the old units, if you wanted proper stereo in stereo, you had to have mm -hmm. two units. Um, they can leave that off, I guess. Yeah, I? leave that off, but it looks so uh, cool, uh, doesn't it? I was looking on Reverb earlier. Uh, an original rack 2290 is anything from sort of 1500 to even up to $2,500. Uh, wow. Um, the, and of course, if you need full yeah, stereo, you need, you need two. two. <laughs> so this is about 300 quid. So if it's even hmm. remotely close to a 2290, I can imagine everyone will go, maybe I don't need to buy that rack one off of Reva. Even if it's remotely, you say, if it's even just a tiny bit close, yeah. yes, 300 quid. 300 quid. 300 quid. So I thought it was going what, to be much more than that. What makes using this quite a lot simpler, because you can, as you can see, it's a slightly overwhelming sort yeah. of uh, panel here, is uh, we've plugged it into a laptop. We're mm -hmm. using the free editor that comes with it, and we're simply going to go through the presets. Yeah, let's see. TC presets. have actually said, to be honest with you, the presets have got such a variety of um, different combinations on there. And they've tried to nail some of those iconic 2290 yeah. tones. Yeah. It almost doesn't feel like you need to understand here. You just need no. to find a preset that works for yeah, what you want to do. Just, you know, and so, um, the, the, uh, do you want to talk about the thing on the control panel yeah, here? So you know, it's MIDI, full MIDI. It's if you full have a MIDI, MIDI and of course, I think the original ones were as well. So if you were, yeah. if you were Steve Luke, the touring, you'd have had your oh, full MIDI rig. Massive um, rigs. It's basically each preset has an A and a B location. There yeah. can be completely different effects in yeah. that sort of A and B location. And then essentially I'm going to go up. You see what it says 12, 13, 14. I can go up or down using yeah. the two buttons simultaneously and, and then yeah. I select again. Um, two on each, if I'm yeah. honest with you, I'm not a, 
I'm not a massive fan of the, the fact that you've got to try and press the two buttons to get into the up down mode and then press them again to go up and down. I think I'd rather use this either as MIDI or yeah. with If you have a gig this. rig or anything like it, you know, you just have, yeah. this is my setting on here and when I click that, that's it. Um, we're going... Tap tempo as well, worth pointing yeah. out. I don't even know what the learn thing is. We've, we've asked uh, one of the is TC guys, what do you think? it like could be save? just save, couldn't yeah. it? Yeah. We've that's asked it. one of the TC guys if they've got an original 2290 yes. to bring it in mm -hmm. and we'll go slightly deeper under the hood. So for today, it's very much just Initial reactions, hearing presets. Exactly, it looks exactly like, that. like we need. We just, and that's why um, we need that. Anyway, go on. Sorry. We've we've gone full 80s yeah, with Luke. the new Luke. Uh, it's that Mark III, isn't it? The one that was announced this year. Into the uh, Roddenberg SLOD Luke for Roddenberg. drive pedal, which we're uh, excited to say we've just decided to start stocking this uh, Roddenberg range of pedals. In mono, into the uh, 2290P in stereo then into two clean amplifiers we've left the reverb on the amps so yeah, that's where like, the reverb's coming from mm -hmm. all the modulation and delay is coming from the 2290 yeah. so we might as well start with mm -hmm. a moddy good start which is a classic <laughs> modulated delay <laughs> setting clean sound first and that's the first preset yep yep I've got delays, but there's like modulated. Are they? Oh, sounds good, man. I'm in this demo. I'm not even going to try and interpret what everything's going on in here. We're just no. going to listen to just read the different presets. ones. Yeah. So this was this. That was the one. Big. <laughs> Honestly, if you if you followed this channel for a long time and you know the, what made me want to learn to play the guitar, it was the Delicate Sound of Thunder live video that I saw yeah. when I was about 15 years old. And, and I, I still, to this day, I think Dave Gilmore's, David Gilmore's guitar tone on that record is it's insane. outrageous, but I, it's funny you said, and I, we were talking about this, and I was like, that's the sound. And you're going, yeah, but I'm sure there was delay on that sound, and we listened back, and it didn't sound like there was any yeah. delay on it. So, so uh, look, there's, way, there's loads of presets here. So yeah. if, we, if we're in this room, we're going to go through every single one, but we're only going to show you the ones that we like. So if you see me jumping around, that's because so we didn't like them. So they will get two presets. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Some of these are definitely inferring Three a seconds. song <laughs> choice here. So roads. The roads, well, that's this one. Night Rider, is it? Fair enough. Oh, you can go, go back to that. Sorry, sorry. Go, just go back to that one. Go back to that one. And there's a bit of that one on. A bit more, a bit more gain. A little bit less gain. And Delay Expa. What? That's a good think? sound for, uh, for Sarsong. Here, it here's be a, good a question for the comments section, okay? What do you think David Gilmore or Steve Lukather or any of those guys oh, back in the 80s who would have had their twin 
100 watt, whether high watts or whatever David Gilmour was using at the time, or the uh -huh. Bogners or whatever that, uh -huh. that, that uh, Steve Luther was using at the time, Boogie, I think he was using a lot. What do you think, you know, with their £100,000 worth of Mike Bradshaw or Pete Cornish kind of rigged up effects and switching system, their 200 watt stacks either side, yeah. what do you think they'd have said if someone had gone, I can profile that with this? Think. Yeah, Do you think that it just gone? Oh, get out of town! Oh, I didn't know you were going to say that. <laughs> what I thought you were going to say is, what I thought you were going to say is, I thought how many songs do you think has been written because somebody's gone? Hey, have you checked out that new TC twenty two ninety? And they're gone. Oh, what's that patch there? And they're gone. They're gone. Hang on, leave that there. Leave that there. Go. Come up with that idea. They come up with this. Not that, because, not because the riff, that, that but was the, several but the years song, before this. But no, I yes, get but, it. You know, but, but because well, all the Joshua, uh, all the U two stuff is yeah. a good example. I mean, of, it's, it's soundscapes yeah. inspired the songs. You yeah, know? which the gear inspired the song. Which um, is inspiration is the anyway. Key. I'm still, wow. you know, I still think if you, I don't think David Gilmour's guitar tone on Delicate Sound of Thunder could have sounded as good if it was modelled. I just don't think it could. I no, think it was a, just volume. It was then. just it was just too epic. Um, but anyway, anyway, let's go. anyway, yeah, we get, we're, we're getting, we're getting on. the thing. But, right. but, but, but right. I think you're gonna, you were going to see the comment section on fire saying, "I can do this with my GP two hundred. It sounds wonderful. You know what, though, that, that would have been yeah. nice actually. TC, if you're watching, is a little description of each preset. Doesn't as to it like, say that up in the corner? Though? No, it's just telling me about the um, how to drag and drop them from one side to the other. Oh, Modded not, movement. Oh. Oh, there you go. It, it's it, right there. It look. shows me. All, the, All the different parameters, yeah. Wow. But, and now I don't know how to get back to the screen <laughs> that I was on. <laughs> that it's sounds wonderful. Sounding, it sounds wonderful, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> this has a name, More Nervous. Is that a song? No. Old Tapey. Not that much to lay on I that know, song, it but sounds um, great, isn't there it? There is freedom within. Compy. Oh, Compy. <laughs> it sucks it. It sucks it, doesn't it? It sucks it. If you haven't got your headphones on, uh, go no, and yeah, put yeah. them on. Anyway. What is this one? Um, we've got the is edge one, one. The edge one now, but. Would you Chorus trem. That sounds good, man. Two speed. Yeah, yeah. That um, crowded house one might Cro be that. Yeah. Maybe not. <laughs> um, fishing, fishing, I don't fishing. Know. I mean, there's winding road. I'm gonna Next. go. This one is. I'm gonna go to this ducked <laughs> ambience because I think it's worth trying to just see if that one will demo the ducking uh, yeah. sense of. The delay from the previous patch it's is still, still going. going. 
There you go. It's gone now. So when I play it softer, listen. I mean, look. I mean, I'm just literally picking my favourite names. Sweet dreams. It's gone this, a bit ridiculous as yeah, we've got to the end, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's cool. These, I mean, I'm just going back to that first Moddy Goods, uh, Moddy Goods start. So look, it's wonderful. I, I'm obviously, I don't think we've even scratched the surface no, of potentially no, no. Um, how you might edit this or whatever. But I think we've perhaps given you a rough idea of how good some of the, the modulated delays are. Yeah, you know, sounds you, beautiful. I, I think not really. a is it a criticism? It's probably not really a criticism as such of like, if you haven't got a stereo rig, is it going to be that much better than just having a decent delay pedal? I, I kind of, for me, so I it's think it's a mono it is, delay pedal, but it's still got that sound of that. You know, if you buy the the little uh, what is the little called, little blue one, not the not this mini mm. one, but the next one up, the ref, what is it called? Strymon, you're talking no, about. No, not the, the the TC electronic one. Oh, the flashback. If you buy the flashback, you've got the twenty two ninety setting on there. I've never heard, I mean, the, you see 2290 settings. On everything. On everything. Yeah. I've never heard one. Uh, do you know what, let's, let's just do that. You whole, have heard one because you, you've, of course I've you've heard it. I've you... never heard a, a, like a 2290 <laughs> setting that I thought was as big as sounding as this, but then probably no, but, not use one in stereo. Let's just And you haven't used this. the real big ones, right? Yeah, let's just, let's just have a couple of patches now. Oh, what, you know, as you can see what Pete and I are doing here, we're just basically, um, running it into mono so you can get because that's my not criticism is the wrong word but my question i suppose yeah. with this is if if you haven't got a stereo setup yeah is this really worth you know is this really any better than than um, it looks, buying a yeah but you know but any it looks other amazing delay? though it looks pretty Who cool the one this look on your pedal board well let's let's I'll see for the look in, along. so we're just now in mono going through the uh the, the, the dp40 there let's just see does it still we'll just do two or three patches and then that's the end of the demo okay yeah. let's do that well let's try out okay yep right so to the next one which was that one uh... in the stereos it's, is a, it's uh, like go, go, go back to the stereo thing quickly okay and on guitar slightly out of tune Do because I... that's been all day long can i just rest my case yeah yeah but stereo of course that's what you want those effects for because you're sitting in the room here mm. Stereo is, is, a, is a glorious thing, but uh, if you do a gig, for instance, and everything is in stereo, then it's just awful. Yeah, you can't... You, Two guitar players it. in stereo, keyboard players in stereo, you know, everything is in stereo, back and track in stereo, yeah. then what you want is something right down the middle. If you're standing alone with something, like he does in that, yeah. you, know, you know, then of course it's massive. Let's, 
but let me let me find that. Go back to mono again. Let me just massive. try that edgy. That um. Because yeah. I, I kind of, Sorry. I, I think I'm coming to the conclusion that, yeah, if you've got a stereo rig, then this is well worth having if you haven't um, half tempted to yeah, sort of say this. Put a little bit more reverb on other, there, right? Let's put a little bit more reverb. Would be just and a as bit good. Of, yeah, but yes, but maybe, maybe not. But do the, like, the U2 thing that you did at the beginning. That's oh, the, that that's one, the patch, that, uh, yeah. what one? No, of course it's not the same. It's, it's not the same, same, is no. it? No. But, but I mean, no, the Yets I mean, wouldn't look, have been the Yets without one of these. I didn't, I, I sort of feel a bit, I don't think I'm ending on necessarily a downer. I just think it's like, it's horses for courses, right? It's about guitar players trying to Yes, but anything in stereo, stereo. You can, you, anything that's got stereo out, any reverb that's got stereo <laughs> I would only have one amp. Why would you buy one? Because maybe one day you get another amp. And you maybe go, actually, I want another thing. I want it to something. Maybe you've got, you know, I mean, there's, hey, you shouldn't be, anyway, whatever. <laughs> It's all good. I don't know where that was like, going. No, it was, you know, if you want a stereo one, buy a stereo one because one day you get yeah, a stereo. I would, I, I would go stereo. Absolutely. Anyway, right. Thank you for watching. <laughs> um, please like and subscribe. I'm sure we'll revisit the 2290p again when the chaps yes. from TC bring an Look original one in. Uh, has anybody cool. got any tricks to tuning guitars and keep them staying in tune in this weather? Because, <laughs> I, you know, I certainly would like some of that.